Number 10. Released in July 2002. Starting with Overprotected, the Dark Child Remix by Britney Spears. No. Can't Get You Out of My Head by Kylie Minogue. I really like this one. The beat is just so hypnotic. Escape by Enrique Iglesias. It's okay, but not one of his best works. I've Got You by Mark Anthony. Eh. Girlfriend, the Neptunes remix featuring Nelly by NSYNC. Wow, that was garbage. I'm Gonna Be Alright, Trackmasters remix by Jennifer Lopez featuring Nas. Ugh! Don't Say Goodbye by Paulinia Rubio. Eh. Move It Like This by Baja Men. The most disgraceful assortment of deplorable rubbish imaginable. More Than a Woman by Alaya. I was hoping this was a Bee Gees cover, but now I'm disappointed it was not. Uh-huh by B2K. Nuh-uh. Always On Time by Jerule featuring Ashan Ashanti. I should really figure out how to pronounce these beforehand. Anyway, this is crap. Sugar High by Jade Anderson. This is crap too. Electric Boogaloo. Half Crazy by Music. This is crap three. Electric Boogaloo. Underneath Your Clothes by Shakira. Boring. A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. I really like this song. Plus all the memes on the internet emphasize my liking of it. A New Day Has Come by Celine Dion. And because it's Celine Dion, it's automatically boring. I'm right, you're wrong, don't even bother commenting. <laughs> we Are All Made of Stars by Moby. The composition for this one is just all over the place. It kind of confuses me at places. First Date by Blink-182. I genuinely like this song. It's a very cliche early 2000s alternative rock song, but still a good one nevertheless. Stillness of Heart by Lenny Kravitz. Another one of his songs I really like. The melody gives off such good vibes. How You Remind Me by Nickelback. Now I know a lot of people don't like Nickelback and I can understand what they're coming from. Some of his songs I try to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I don't really like this one that much. But instead of me talking about it, I'm gonna let my friend Darth716 talk about it. Take it away, Darth! Hello, Darth716 here. And uh, How You Remind Me was the first Nickelback song I ever heard. It's actually what got me into the band, really. It's, uh, overall, I think it's just a beautiful song. You know, the music, the lyrics. To put it simply, it's just an awesome song, really. And this has nothing to do with the song itself, but honestly, I don't understand why people hate Nickelback so much. These guys are freaking awesome. And there you go. That was the 10th album. But we're not done yet, because this album came with a limited edition promotional disc with 10 songs from mostly new and upcoming artists at the time. So let's keep this going! Starting with Get Over It by OK Go. Made my ears bleed. What Are You Waiting For by No Secrets. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I know it's not this song. You Don't Know Me by Janae. And I don't want to know her. Spending Time featuring Charlie Baltimore by Christina Millian. I already forgot what it sounded like and I don't care to listen to it again. Why Don't We Fall in Love by Amory. Eh. Fun by Rose Falcon. Not so fun. Now That I Know by Shannon McNally. I don't care for it. <laughs> I Woke Up in a Car by Something Corporate. This one's not bad. That's all I got to say about it. 100 Girls by Stroke 9. Don't care for it. Lonely Day by Phantom Planet. This is an okay one. It's got an interesting vibe to it. And there you go. That was that album. Now I would have to say my favorite one is Stillness of Heart by Lenny Kravitz. And I had a lot of least favorite songs on this one. But if I had to choose one, I'm just going to choose Overprotected, The Dark Child Remix by Britney Spears and get that out of the way. Anyway, that's it. See you in the next one!